All right, we're back. Graveyard Hello. Shift movie podcast episode number 37. This week, my pick. I pick The Last House on the Left all the way back in 1972. Directed and written by Wes Craven, creator of Nightmare on Elm Street. His first directorial role uh, in this film. And uh, I don't know what y'all are going to score this. I have a feeling Maverick's going to be low. Tyler, you're an oddball. I don't know. I never know what you're going to score in movies. Uh, I am willing to die on this hill. This movie is great. Uh, it is instantly in my top 10 favorite horror movies. I'm giving it an 8.5. It would have gotten higher if it were not for a certain section that I will talk about. So, anyway. So, Maverick looks befuddled. So, he's going to give it like a 2. <laughs> Taking a sip of coffee. <laughs> Fucking. This movie was bad, man. I'll give it a four, and I was being generous. Eight and a half. That was the only correct answer. <laughs> you got it wrong. <laughs> Tyler, where are you scoring this one? Uh. I'm gonna give it a five, oh. and uh, it's, it's hard to do that because I have extreme anxiety, and like this movie is literally what I fear every day of my life. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> yeah, the you know, like it's like these sick, demented people. And they're out there, like in real life, right? Not, not movie world, or whatever. But <laughs> yeah, like they're literally out there. Oh. So like this could happen to anybody any day. Mm -hmm. So it's a great premise. It was just made thirty years too early. Man, thirty years too early. You made the same. What? How you old made that is same this movie? Go ahead. It was like 50. eighty. Was it fifty? Let me see. So seventy-two. So it's twenty twenty-one. Seventy-two. Yeah. Ooh, man, that's getting... It's yeah. 50 years old. Yeah, yeah. so next year... In the 90s. Next year, yeah, it'll yeah. be 50 years old. Jesus Christ. So, like, I think if they move, made, remade this movie... Well, they did remake it. They did yeah, remake they did it. remake it. Yeah. Which is so, why I figured well, Tom picked it. But no. this one, sort of... I was sort of like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to watch the remake now. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt whoa, the whoa, remake. Whoa. I doubt the Spoilers. remake. You know, I don't know, because the remake came out in 09, so the remake might try to up it, because I was when, like, Prime, Saw, and stuff. I thought it was just recently remade. No, it's, like, 12 oh, years old, yeah. Alright, guys, we're anyway. gonna ruin this movie? Yeah, spoiler warning. For the last house on the left, that's 50 years old. <laughs> but, if you haven't seen it, it's getting ruined, so be warned. Um, Fucking Jesse is in it. The it. bad guy from the Karate Kids in it. Who's Jesse? Which Jesse? From Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. In the remake. Shout out him. Oh. What's it? God, what's his real name? Who cares? Okay, yeah, who cares? Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman, that's his real name. <laughs> um, is, no. By the way, I was curious, and uh, I looked it up. Uh, Deliverance, which I don't know, Maverick, have you ever watched Deliverance? Maybe, let me see. Okay, you go ahead, why he's looking that up. Uh, Deliverance came out the same year as this. So, they're not exactly the same, but, you know, they, they got some similar, some similar stuff. What the fuck is this? So, anyway, shout out to Deliverance. No, I don't think I've ever seen this. But anyway, Last House on the Left. 1972? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh anyway, the the beginning of this movie best thing we've ever watched, ten out of ten <laughs> beginning of this movie. Which is just like just the daughter coming downstairs and she's like, I'm gonna go <laughs> see what's the band name? Bloodlust. Bloodlust, Bloodlust. yeah. Uh, spoiler, we never see Bloodlust. We never see Bloodlust. I was very disappointed in that. Um, 
But and the dad's just like, you don't have a bra, and I can see your nipples clear as day. <laughs> I was like, what? And then her tits hanging out all the yeah, time. Yeah, and then she's like, uh, she says something. She's like, ah, oh, you know, it makes your tits stick out like rockets or something. And the nah, dad's like, nah, tits? What's was... with all this tits business? <laughs> the the mom is like, why? Yeah, like, she was why talking about the bra? old bras. Like, why? Well, why are you uh, the fucking the child? Uh -huh. it's like. Well, y'all used to wear these bras that made your tits like rocket, look like rockets. <laughs> yeah. And mom was like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's true. You did." Yeah, and it was talking just... about stuffing bras and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's also the old man at the beginning, who's talking about the girl, and he's like, "Yeah, seventeen years old, real popular." I like the fucker. <laughs> like he doesn't say that, but he's like, he's like, he's she's, like a, she's a she's a she's a real piece. And I was yeah, like, oh, shit. <laughs> there's not a finer piece I know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ooh, you nasty old man. <laughs> Sounds like my granddad. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, grand. You should hear my granddad talk about my grandma. He's like, yeah, she don't give me no she. Fuck. What is what is this head? No, no, no. <laughs> He says, Anal. he says, dude, he says pussy all the time, though. Yeah. It's like, I, I haven't no been in that. I haven't no been more. in your grandma's shitter for a month. Uh, you know how old people are, man. Yeah, man. Old they're, people they're crazy, comedy, man. Comedy duo, dude. It's you know like, that old bitch shit of my <laughs> dick the other day? <laughs> dude, stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Are these not things you would say? No. Oh. <laughs> Is uh yeah. Anyway, and then also right, they have um. So the girls go into this concert in the city, and she is inviting along her friend who apparently lives yeah, near that neighborhood. Yeah, and she's like, uh, she's like, oh, she'll take care of you know. She knows the neighborhood or whatever. Um, and she's like talking to her, and she's like, I feel like a woman for the first time in forever. My breasts have finally filled out. And I was looking, I was like, a bitch where? <laughs> I was like, I don't, <laughs> I don't see them. Listen, they're not pumped full of fucking hormones and GMOs from all this McDonald's and, and shit in our food now. So. <laughs> Never throwing shots at McDonald's for some reason. That leads us into the day's sponsor, McDonald's chicken sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I got fake tits. Um... <laughs> Let me see this McTittis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, Maverick made a McDick the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was telling this man I made a McGangbang with the, the McDouble and the chicken sandwich. And he was like, you made a McDick? Well, I'm like, wait, he what? stops. Because he starts to say McDouble, but he stops at McDick. Like that. And I was like, damn, you made a McDick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, <laughs> fucking weird. But, but anyway, oh, so then we get <laughs> they're driving down the road and they're listening to the radio, and uh, <laughs> like a newscast comes on of uh, them being like criminals. They escaped or whatever. They're on the run. They've kicked the dog to death <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the lady's like, boring, and she skips the channel, and I was like, no, no go back. And then the lady made her go back, and you get the whole rundown. The, fucking, of... the way they describe these criminals, they're like, they're, <laughs> they're murderers, and killers, and thieves, mm -hmm. and rapists. And, and rapists, like, oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. <laughs> they just well, kept like, going. Yeah, like, they, yeah, they said everything they could to make these people be as yeah. mean and yeah. evil. Why, well, like, they talk Jesus. about the woman, and they're like... A dog kicked to death by a woman that resembles an animal, and then it flashes yeah. to the lady in the tub, and she just looks like a normal lady. <laughs> like she's got yeah, some makeup like on. Chilling. Like, uh, she's super famous. I can't think of her name though. Oh yeah. yeah all those, all the bad guys were, except for the guy who gets his dick cut off. <laughs> bit off. <laughs> yeah, That's bit. Man, so what? Tell me how the wife is gonna go out and give this man head in the woods. That for like was a solid, so. Like, so they find out. We'll get to what leads up to all this. But then they're at the house with the parents, the bad guys, and they start learning that spoiler: uh, these people have killed their daughter. And so immediately they start. The dad starts putting down like, 
shower. Home Alone. And, yeah, Home yeah, Alone and stuff. fucking Macaulay Culkin in this goddamn house. Yeah. And fucking the mom just like, you know what? I'm going to bite this guy's dick yeah, off. I'm she's like, like, okay. <laughs> the, the oldest member of the group who uh, just got out of jail recently... She like she's like uh she starts seducing them and they go walking off and I was like okay she's gonna like take them out and like stab them or something and then she starts blowing my dude and I was like what's going on I was like man this plan is weird and then he's like oh I'm about to come and she's like are you sure about that <laughs> <laughs> she just gnaws this dude's dick off she and... like I don't I thought they were gonna show it um they don't show a, just, like a lot of it. Yeah, so it's like you see her go running off by the lake, and like it looks like she spits something. Yeah, and dude's on the ground holding his what is left of his dick. Yeah. So, did they ever show that guy again, or is that the last you no. see of him? You so that's the last. Which I don't think. He, I mean, what could you bleed out? I don't even think you could bleed out from. Uh, well, he was tied up too. So. He was. His hands was tied. I, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, he, he might have just got like arrested. Him. Yeah. But, uh... Old Dickless over here. Old Dickless. That's the sequel to How to Train Your Dragon. Instead of Toothless, you got Dickless. <laughs> He's just flying around. Um, but yeah, that was... That was something. Uh... <laughs> you get... You can tell these dudes also when they're doing the whole report about, uh, how mean and evil these people are. You get flashes to the people, and you can tell they're evil because they pop a kid's balloon <laughs> as they're walking by. And I was like, oh, they've gone too far, dude. Uh, that kid, by the way, fun fact, played by Wes Craven's kid. So, shout out to that kid. Yeah. Um, What's he up to? Wes Craven's kid? Uh, I don't know. He's in a, oh, he's you know what? He's in he's. He's into uh, right in the hills have eyes too. <laughs> if you remember that, so uh, they yeah they have the one character who you find out later when they're doing the announcing or whatever they talk about the the one guy who escaped like hooked his kid on heroin so he could control his life control him yeah. And I didn't think the kid was still alive. I was thinking this was, like, in the past and they were talking about what happened. But then, like, the kid is, um, plays Junior in the movie. Who, he's just uh, weird. And he's, like, talking to the girl while she's in the bath. And he's like, I wish I could just be a frog. I could sit around all day and ribbit, ribbit. That dude was fucking <laughs> like, zoink. That's when I sent you that message that just said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was, dude, that was, I was like, I was hang on my lily pad, catch a fly. Yeah. <laughs> all, I, all I could remind, because he's like, it, all, all he could remind me of was the, uh, the, uh, fucking always study and call me Mantis, Mantis the Bach, and, and he's like, just call me a frog. But, yeah, that, that, yeah, that guy was something. He has, I told Maverick there was a part in this movie that gave me the hardest laugh I've ever had uh, watching anything for this podcast. And it comes from that guy where later on, after they've kidnapped the two main characters, the one girl is off running. So then the other girl is stuck with Junior and she starts like trying to sweet talk him and stuff. And she goes, uh, do you have a girlfriend, Junior? And he's like, yeah, I got lots of girls. They're at home waiting for me. And she goes, I don't think you do. And he goes, yeah, well, you're right. <laughs> And <laughs> I laughed I so that? hard at that. Especially right before she calls him Willow because yeah. he's so yeah. sweet and kind. Yeah, yeah we well, hear And you right. look beautiful in the wind. And beautiful I was like, in the oh, wind, oh. yeah. Willow, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, sure. I got lots of girlfriends just waiting to get me. I don't think you do. Well, you're right. Willow. Okay. Yeah. Sure. That guy, yeah. Junior was a weird character, dude. I don't think he could run fast. You just outrun his little fucking zoink ass. <laughs> this man's fucking high as shit off heroin. He had a stick, though. <laughs> he, he had, had a stick, stick oh, yeah. God. So, this movie's really good because, like, the whole thing happens, like, with an eyesight or a house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which... That was weird. 
is they just happen to break down or whatever right outside of her house. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, they did like a 20-minute scene where they're just walking around these woods before. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, it's like home turf, right? So if you can just dip out for like, yeah, get a two-second head start, you know where shit is. Yeah. So you should have the advantage. Never happened. Yeah. No, yeah, she never like, yeah, never tried to do do that. Uh, and the one girl got away, had the biggest lead ever, and then all of a sudden they just popped up in front of her. Well, yeah, because I do the thing where the main guy, Krug, um, goes off to, like, get some stuff to chop firewood. And then they sort of, like, wink, wink, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then he pops up in front of her with the machete, which they had some crazy, like, sound effect when they, like, wow, 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 or whatever when it happened. And it gave me a little jump, but, uh... Bum, bum, bum. There's a crazy part to where when everyone got stabbed or raped, mm -hmm. they would play a noise it noise instead was, of playing yeah. the, the noise of them getting stabbed or raped. Yeah. So the guy would go to stab, and then right when he'd stab her, he'd go... Mm -hmm. the, when they catch that girl and they just start stabbing her, they just go to town on those sound effects. Do, and it's like... Yeah. Wong, wong, wong. And it was so like... I don't. It works so well for me. <laughs> it's weird. It's but, so uh, weird, but it. yeah, yeah, like. I don't. Yeah, this movie also has parts. So they they're raping these girls in the woods. Oh. And the first time it starts to happen, it's intercut with these happy, like, the parents baking a cake for their yeah, daughter's yeah. birthday. Yeah, for her birthday. And there was something so, like, dark and, like, comedic at the same time about it. There's a lot of dark comedy in this movie. Yeah, like, it's... them running down the stairs with the girls was playing... Wah, 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 wah. It's, like, wacky music as they're kidnapping the girls. And it was like the juxtaposition or whatever, right? Yeah. Where it's like these two girls are having the worst time of their lives, and then the parents are like mm -hmm. getting ready for her birthday party. Yeah. And the dad's like, I can't wait to get you downstairs. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, his daughter is being brutally raped. Yeah. So you're like, oh, Lord. Which, you know, you might feel bad for her, but then if you do, just remember that she said she doesn't like mint chocolate chip ice cream earlier on in the movie. Yeah. So yeah. she deserved everything she yeah. got. <laughs> Oh, that was I a cute like piece of shit. Whoa! Okay. I don't like hard shit in my ice cream. Well, I got some people coming over to visit you later. Oh. The people of me are coming over to visit. Yeah. Fun fact, by the way. Uh, so the main bad guy in this crew, later on, Wes Craven would then pay homage to this movie by naming Kruger, Freddy Krueger. And so that's a little wink-wink to... Uh, his first movie he ever made. So, shout out to that. Well, the the dumbass deputy guy is the main bad guy from Karate Kid. Not the kid one. <laughs> yeah. The, he runs the the, the dojo and yeah. trains the bad guys. The, the cops in this movie, they have one part that really made me laugh. Where they run out of gas randomly. And so they're just on the walking on the road... And these kids, like teenagers, pull over in their car and they're just yelling at them. And it's all gibberish. And it's like, rabble, 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 rabble. And then it all clears out. And as they're driving away, you just hear one guy, we hate cops. <laughs> yeah, I think, he, I think he specifically says, like, fuck the cops. Or something. Yeah. But yeah, he does say, we hate the cops. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> okay, guy. It made me laugh, but them cops had no reason no. being in this movie. Like it was worst cops I've ever seen in a movie. Man. They they have a moment. So the best scene is with the cops. Are you talking about the chicken truck? The chicken truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think that math adds up, by the way, because she's like, "How much do you weigh?" And he's like, "One eighty-five." Then she looks at the bigger, older cop, and she's like, "How much do you weigh?" And he goes, "One eighty." The dude goes, bullshit. <laughs> like, calls him out. But so then... 190, maybe? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But then she goes, uh... She goes, that's 11 chicken coops. I... Or, or 11 chicken? 
Coop's really 185 pounds? <laughs> I mean, you figure one chicken coop has five chickens, you know, so 20 pounds a pop. Oh, for some reason, I was thinking that each cage just had one chicken. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, but anyway, they have a part where uh, it's so a lot of this movie. Like, the girl is getting raped. The friend is getting raped. The friend ends up becoming the main character of a lot of this movie. Like, she's the one doing everything. And the the girl who the parents are over here is kind of an afterthought a little bit. But that girl is getting raped. And I remember being like, there was no real, like, um... She was just sort of like, oh, no, no, stop, you know? And I was like, okay, that's weird. And then later on... There's a part where the girl just starts crying, and she's like, why are you doing... And I remember, I was like, ooh, okay, this is getting a little little disturbing. And then, you get, uh, after they've killed her friend, and they do the thing where they have her her cut-off arm, and they wave at her, which uh, they would then bring back in Hills Have Eyes 2, shout out. <laughs> and uh, they throw it down at her. Um, They then start to rape her, and it's playing this, like, weird... A, like sad type of music and it was the first time that i was like d like uneasy watching it i was like uh and then they have a part after it where then they rape her and the girl just sort of stands up and she starts to vomit and all these killers who have been ruthless this whole movie you have a moment where they just look like they're like they're like rubbing their hands on their pants and they look real uncomfortable with everything they've done so far and it's, it, it's just, I don't know what it is about it, but something, I was like, it was just so weird watching them, like, be uncomfortable with it. And then, I, uh, what's up? I'm going to go on the assumption that that's the first time they raped her. Yeah. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. that they had raped the other girl before, but that was the yeah. first well, time they Well, no, they, they made her strip. They made her strip. They made her strip, and strip then homegirl yeah. was eating her out, and I was like, that's kind of what... Like, why? Yeah. Man, homegirl was straight to that, though, right? Like, yeah. she had done it before. Well, she was trying to survive. She was a survivor in this movie. No, 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 no. She, the, um, the animal lady oh, was eating okay. her out. Yeah. Um, that's the part. When they make her strip, that's when she starts crying. And the yeah. other girl's like, listen, it's just me and you here and stuff. And I was like, oh, this is, you know, getting... But yeah, and so then they, they're playing this, like, melodramatic, like, sad-type music... And then the girl starts walking off, and for a minute, I was thinking they were just going to let her leave. Like, they were just going to yeah. let her walk. But then she just, like, just gives up and, like, walks into this lake. And then I'm like... And then they just, they kill her. Like, she's she's dead. Because this whole time I knew it was, like, a rape revenge movie. So I never thought the main character was going to get killed, you know? And they shoot her, and then the music just cuts off. And then it, like, pans out to, like, the dog at the house. And then you hear, like, four more shots. Uh, and then it goes from that to where it was real, like, depressing. And then and then it goes back to the cops and it's playing, like, the wacky music. And that was the first time that I was like, okay, I don't think this works here. Like, every other time they had cut in between, like, a wacky moment and this, it worked for me. But after they kill the main girl and they cut back to the cops, I was like, this shouldn't be here. I was like, there's something about it. So, anyway. Yeah, that was a long that was a long winded sentence, but <laughs> I had to explain it. The whole cop thing just didn't work. It's like there's no well, reason. They, they bring lev levity to it, right? The, like, yeah. It can't be an hour of just watching two girls get raped. You had to have something in there that changed yeah, it up some. They didn't do it right. Because I... Like, I think that bad. chicken coop scene was after the the girl gets killed. And that's why I didn't like the chicken coop scene. It was just because it was after that. And so I was like, uh. I will say, though, cops are pointless. But the end of the movie, when uh, the dad has the chainsaw, which looks cool as shit when he's at the bottom of the stairs and he's coming up or whatever. But then he's about to kill the main guy. And the cop runs in. And he's like, no! Don't! Or whatever. And that, that was good. That was really good. I really like that. And then he just kills him. And the cop's like... D and he takes his hat off. And he's like, damn it. And uh, so, like, that... 
you know, that moment was cool with the cops. But for the most part, I felt the cops were kind of pointless. Uh, when I said this movie, I would have given it a higher score, except for one part. When they get to the house and they start eating dinner, I felt like the movie really dragged on at that point. Every point, it moved so fast up to that for me. And then when they get yeah. to the house, it was just, it really dragged on for a while. And so I had to dock a few points. I don't oh, see why man. they thought it was a good idea to go in there and play house. Like, why, why not just kill well, the parents? Yeah, that's the weird thing. I was like, why didn't they just kill them when they went in there? Yeah, I was, what the fuck? I don't, like, it, it was weird. Well, they didn't know it was the girls. They didn't know that, yeah. It doesn't matter if they knew or not. I mean, yeah, they like fucking killed people. Why not kill them? I don't see why they yeah. would be like, you know what? Let's play house, dress up. And just stay yeah. at these people's house. And you have, and have to watch them, them and... do the whole thing where it's like, what business are you in? And it's like, insurance, uh, plumbing. And they say it at the same time. And it's like, well, which one is it, you know? So the house yeah, kind of, yeah. the house dragged on for me. Yeah, well, I kept showing the dad, like, was, like, checking out, like, clues on mm -hmm. him and stuff. Like, noticing yeah. shit and everything. That, that part where the old dude has the dream that wakes him up, uh, but it's him, like, tied down, and then they, like, they're, like, don't Dude, move, and they, like, chisel his chisel teeth, his teeth. Oh. and I was, like, oh, my, and this was after you, the parents had found out, so I was, like, oh, they done tied this dude down, you know, and, but it was a dream, but apparently, uh, the original script was supposed to end with, uh, like, that happening, and they were gonna, like, tie him down with, and kill him with scalpels and shit, because they, nice. it was, like, a doctor and stuff, but they went with the, uh, I think the executive producer was like, no, we need it more like, so that's why they went with the chainsaw, because it was like louder, and it was more like theatrical with the chainsaw, but, um, yeah, <laughs> there's a, there's a part early on that also made me laugh, which is, uh, now thinking back to it, it was heroin, but at the time I didn't know that. Uh, when the guy gets the girls to go in the apartment with them, and they're like, we got gotcha, you, and they lock the bolt or whatever, and then the one guy goes, good job, Junior, here's your yum-yums. <laughs> he yeah, tosses he tells them the bag. Yeah, yeah, and I was just like, man, this guy got some cookies. <laughs> like, and then, idiot. and then later, I started to realize that was the kid that was hooked on heroin, and I was like, oh, yeah. okay. That's when it was. No, he tells them, that's his, here's your fix, or some shit like that. No, it Those was yum-yums. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hey, you stick around a while. How about a bite? Yeah, I'd like a little something to eat myself. Nice going, junkie. Here's your yum yums. <laughs> I Did specifically. He say yum -yum? It was yum yums there, and then later on, he's like, I need my fix. Yeah, like, yeah. Ah. And he, he said also, that these bullshit, like pound yeah. wood or something. Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2. We talk so much shit about Frank and his goddamn switchblade. And then this movie, the girl's like, I'm going to scream. And the guy <laughs> pops out of the switchblade. Yeah. And I was like, no, we can't escape it. <laughs> dude, fucking switchblade, dudes. They f dude, when they capture those girls, quote unquote capture, mm -hmm. by just fucking... <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's my brother, hey, that's my, my sister or whatever. And then they walk in and he just fucking closed the door. Yeah. And locks it on. yeah. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. It was dude. so People like. People can't be abrupt. this stupid. Yeah, it was. I was like, Jesus Christ. As a person who knows someone who bought a lot of drugs in the past. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's nothing to walk into a random house like that and do that, right? Like, yeah. I think we've all done it, you know? No, no. no. We're sh the straight, straight arrow. <laughs> what? Walking, especially with like you look and you they look like a bunch of bums, like just homeless, like trash everywhere. What? I'm like, no, that old dude had that nice, uh, nice blazer jacket <laughs> he was wearing. <laughs> he looked like a, a good also, they they kicked that dog to death apparently, but then they just have this cat chilling, <laughs> like just enjoying life. Yeah, I don't know what they were talking about. They, the thing is, like, they, they did all that just to be in your mind. Yeah. You would be like, these are horrible people. Yeah. This crazy animalistic woman kicked a dog to death. Uh-huh. And like you said, they show the woman. There's nothing wrong with that no. lady. She's just a normal lady. Yeah. Yeah. She did pull the guts out of that 
That was, yeah, I, we talked, like, a lot of the, the stuff in this movie, isn't that graphic? Like, you see blood, but every stab is sort of off screen. The, the gunshots are off screen. Um, but then there's that one shot of after they stab that girl a bunch of her pulling out the intestines. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, also, Deliverance, uh, the famous line in the re- Deliverance or whatever is, you know, the squeal piggy or whatever, and you know. In this movie, we get the, uh, the dude that just keeps mooing the whole time. And he's just like, moo, moo, and he's like mooing in that girl's face. Oh, Wait, can we talk talking about, about her tits and her udders? Yeah, yeah. Dude was um the weird like he so he's he's raping homegirl, right? Mm-hmm. He's on top. She he like you get that weird scene where he's like trying to grab her hand in the in the grass or whatever. Uh huh. While she's trying to move, uh, my man's just slobbering all over. Yeah, face. all over the cheeks. Like <laughs> why, dude? <laughs> Why? Yeah. A hey, question. Okay. Is he fucking her in the car when they're driving down the I, road? I thought at first they nah. were just playing around, but then I, I kind of think they were into it. Like, they were doing yeah. it. I don't, I don't know. Because then you have the part where Junior keeps talking about something weird, and the girl just sort of, <sighs> and gives up. And it's like he feels that she's, like, done. And he's like, I'm going to kill you, Ju-, you know? Yeah. 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 And so I think they were doing it, but they just yeah. didn't they yeah. Yeah. It wasn't they weren't showing or whatever. But Yeah. That was, I, that's what I got out of it. I did like, oh, yeah, I did too. The <laughs> Yeah. There's a part we talked about how they walk through the woods for like ten minutes or whatever. There's a part where they show a shot of these ducks on the pond or whatever. It's the same shot that they've already used earlier for the intro. And I was like, man, these guys are reusing shots now. Like, uh, you know, it's just... Also... I didn't even notice. Yeah. Uh, the soundtrack for this movie is amazing. Horrible. It's amazing. It's so bad. It's and, so uh, bad. And it's great. And uh, the one song that they keep reusing where it's like, The Road to Nowhere or whatever... I remember, like, because I think there's a Led Zeppelin song named Road to Nowhere. Um, and I was like, is this the song? Because I've never listened to it. Apparently, it's Krug singing all the songs. <laughs> He's the guy that sings the songs for the movies. So. Well, you had that one song that was about them. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Krug and JD. <laughs> right the street with, you know, I was like, uh, what? This is great, dude. <laughs> um, there's a... <laughs> Also, speaking of the music, as they're doing the thing where they're driving down the road, like, banging or whatever, and just playing this music with, like, a kazoo. It's like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> like, a kazoo music. I was like, what? <laughs> it's so, it's so weird, this movie. But, uh, um, this movie had a budget, everybody, of, uh, $87,000. Jesus. Made a box office of three point one million dollars. So, this is a lot of money. Dog shit movie. Shout man. out to that. Great movie. Great I uh, movie. If you think about when it was made, like you have to give bonus points. The story though and everything was really solid. Like I said, I can't wait to do the overtime where we watch the new one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once again, I mi- we I mentioned this guy a lot on the show, but uh, this movie, when it was first released, most critics found it disturbing. However, Roger Ebert gave it three and a half stars. He only rates it in four stars. So, um, and he got letters from people asking him how he could possibly support such a disgusting movie like this, and he was like, "I really like it." <laughs> so. It also like highlights the the change of like generations right because you had like this hippie lady yeah you know and then you had like the very like modest home family yeah. or whatever well you had that's all the talk was all about yeah but... you had the whole like undertones of the mom being like i thought you guys were the peace and love generation you know and then you get the people that are basically the same age besides the older dude who I don't think was really that old i think they just like grayed up his hair a little bit they acted like he was old uh, but, and then, you know, they're going around doing these 
heinous crimes or whatever. But, yeah, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> they, uh, there's the part where, uh, fucking, they make that girl piss her pants, which, when this was all happening, it reminded me of another series we've gone through, which it just reminded me of the Devil's Rejects and everything, yeah. where they and were she like, was like hit her. yeah, and especially yeah when they were like hit her. Which then, once again, you don't see that. It's off screen, and you just hear like the the slap or the punch or whatever they do. Sorry, Mari. Yeah. And I was like, I was watching. I was like, oh man. So Rob Zombie just made a a remake of uh, a <laughs> That's House on the Left. Like I feel like this group of people is what he tried to yeah. make Otis and them be. I, <laughs> Especially I that scene where they're driving down the road, like joking around and stuff. It reminded me of the two D fucking fruity or whatever. I mean, they're even in a com- Camaro or convertible. Yeah, like at the end of Devil's Rejects. Yeah, yeah. I I think hundred percent. This is a just a complete rip. Well, that Rob Zombie ripped off these movies yeah. for what he wanted. Yeah. Like, I think it is almost verbatim, right? Yeah. Like, so. Uh, yeah. It, um. <laughs> maybe not rip off, but it's it's very highly, you yeah. know, what you would call it. Yeah. There's the same ilk. There's um, <laughs> that part where the girl is, before she takes off running, she, like, leans down to the girl. And I get it's a movie, so you have to hear what she says. But she's just like, I'm gonna make a run for it. <laughs> like, super loud. <laughs> and I was like, come on, you gotta be a little more quiet than that. She, she fucking gets up. And fucking, like, it looks like she, like, hits the guy. Uh-huh. But, like, it's like like a push or something. And she yeah. takes no. off running. And I'm she like, threw what dirt the in his eyes. I don't know what the fuck she, she did. She threw but... dirt in his face. He goes, ah! Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and then later proves, really... like, how she do it. He goes, she threw dirt in my eyes. Yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so, so I was like, oh. Yeah, is, you know. Um <laughs> There's uh there's the part where they find the the daughter. The parents find the daughter. And she's on the shore, so I guess randomly either the gang pulled her back out of the water. Or somehow she was able to swim to the shore like she was still alive, kind of. And they get there, and, and they're like, she's dead. Uh, when they get there, she's totally moving. <laughs> like, she's like, ah. <laughs> like, you can totally see her moving. And it was I'm like... Sure the water just pushed her to the edge, you know? Like, there's a lake. There's maybe, a but she was like... But it wasn't like she was on the edge. She was up on, the like, the shore. <laughs> like, laying... Yeah. yeah, which... Apparently, I guess she was supposed to live in the original version. Uh, they were gonna rescue her, but they cut that out. So maybe that was like a last minute shot, them running up there, and then they cut to where they're like, she's dead, or whatever. But, yeah, it was, it was weird. Um, the other thing, you have the, the junior at the very end, uh, right as Krug's about to kill the dad, he shows up and like, takes a shot at him with a gun, and then instantly the dude's like, Fucking turn it around, put it in your mouth, and blow your brains out, you know? And Junior's like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, right? And then uh, off camera, it's like, and gunshot. And then you see Junior, like, lay down against the wall. And I was like, did he do it? It was like, he didn't shoot his head. I mean, his head's still, you know. And then, I guess the dad somehow got a double barrel with one shell left. Shot him and then ran all the way downstairs and put the double barrel like on the wall. Because no, then the I dude thought he shot himself. Did he not? No, because then the dad is like, "Oh, sorry, I only had one shell left." Disregard everything that stupid idiot Thomas is saying. Uh, the guy did in fact shoot himself, even though it doesn't look like he shot himself at all. Uh, Krug picks up the shotgun and tries to shoot it at the dad, but it's empty because the dad already shot it, and that's why he says, "Sorry, Krug, only could find one shell." Anyway, ignore, ignore this big fucking dummy, big dumb dumb. In the yeah, in the I shotgun, think I think you're confused. Oh yeah, I think he shot he, himself. He's in the bedroom, and then Krug like unplugs the lamp. 
Uh-huh. And he shoots the guy randomly. Blasts, yeah. And then he drops the gun and runs. Yeah. So the whole thing happens, and then the dad runs downstairs. So then Krug gets the shotgun from upstairs, and he's coming downstairs with it to shoot the dad. Mm. He's like, sorry, Krug. I only <laughs> could find one shell. And then at this point, he has the chainsaw. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, it was crazy. There's more chainsaw killing than this and most fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. I can't think about how many people get killed by a chainsaw. In the first Texas Chainsaw, yeah, no one dies from a chainsaw, do they? Uh, Frank does. The guy in the wheelchair. Frank. I mean, that guy killed himself. That guy didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> so I was saying, you know, a lot of people in that movie get killed by a hammer. You know, like yeah. it's not even a chainsaw. But I remember uh... there was a really cool scene in this movie that I liked. Oh yeah, what's that? When the crazy lady's getting out of the pool and the mom has that fucking switchblade. Switch yeah, and she, she does this, she this just anime fucking... slash yeah. thing where she runs by and doesn't even stop. Yeah. <laughs> I got a cake in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. hit her and ran. <laughs> Drive by. The lady's <laughs> like, she's like pulling out, the, getting out of the pool like that and then just slicing yeah. and then she just backs up like, ugh. And blood comes out of her mouth. Yeah, and like. like oh, she slashed her in the throat. Yeah. There. But, you know. When I watched, I didn't watch the trailer because, like I said, I knew what the movie was about, but I didn't want to spoil a lot of it. So I only watched like the first ten seconds of the uh, old school trailer, and in that ten seconds, it's the dad with the chainsaw and like aiming it at Krug or whatever at the end. And I remember seeing that and being like, "Oh man!" And then, uh, so when I was watching it, I was thinking that Krug and them were the good guys or whatever. Uh, well, not before, but I the trailer makes out like those are the people that are in trouble, and then the, later when you watch the movie, you find out they are not. But hey, time for the hit series of our show: favorite, least favorite. Even though I've already talked about my favorite and my least favorite already, but favorite part has to be the uh, the uh, girlfriend joke. With dude being like, yeah, well, you're right. And then least favorite is just the the cops. They just sort of fell out of place. So, quick little one for me. Maverick? No. Skip. Favorite, least favorite? Nothing. All right. No. You're always good on this. Uh, Tyler? Go ahead. The best scene of the movie is when the two cops are talking at the prison precinct. And they absently mindedly talk about how that dude might be fucking his pig. Oh, yeah. Because they're like, where is little Tommy? And he goes, ah, he's with little sweet Sally up in Turner Bridge or whatever. Mm. It was like, that's really weird. I remember last time he left, his prize, whatever, was, you know, had puppies or something. Yeah. And I'm like, oof. I was like, this is a crazy place. <laughs> um, Doc Collingwood again, huh? Doc Collingwood. I bet you shacked up with Wilbur Cranshaw. That shows how much you know, because Wilbur's gone up to Coopersburg with Sweet Lily. Who the hell is Sweet Lily? Well, it's his pig. My least favorite part is probably them in the woods when they get, like, the bottle of booze from the river. <laughs> they're just drinking on a rock. Yeah. Out there doing nothing for, like, 20 minutes, and I'm like, oh, okay. <coughs> Anything to do with the girls. Like, the car ride... Where they're both like hammered and they're just driving around in the station wagon. Mm-hmm. And they go to the ice cream store and shit. I'm like, I don't need to see any of this. That ice cream, yeah. Once again, bitch doesn't like mint chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I don't want mint chocolate chip. Let me try yours. And she got mint chocolate chip. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> it's mint chocolate <laughs> chip. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Did you have you ever heard the thing? This is the movie. This used to be bigger back in the day, but uh, like uh, little little taglines the movies would have, where it's like uh, Texas Chainsaw. It's like who will survive and what will be left of them and shit like that or whatever. This is the movie if you've ever heard it, where uh, in the theater it would be like if you feel faint or whatever, just repeat to yourself: it's only a movie. It's only a movie, if you've ever heard that, which is a super, like, classic horror tagline shit. But I didn't know it was this movie until I was doing it. 
doing my little my little research shit. So shout out to that. Um, but anyway, like I said, movie's amazing. Uh, fucking the I don't know. It just works for me. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Uh, apparently, also, this was originally supposed to be a, a hardcore porn movie. Uh, but then, as they began shooting, Craven decided to rewrite it to be a horror movie. Which mm. I don't think is true, even though I read it. I think it's just, like, something people have made yeah. up over time. Yeah. So, but, hey, right. maybe it is true, but I don't think it is. I'm not even sure they had hardcore porn back then. Listen, they had the. I know they had porn, but I just don't know. They definitely had porn. Uh, last thing, real fast, is then the movie after the dad chainsaws homie, and the mom kills uh, that girl or whatever. You get the shit where the dad just like gives his chainsaw to the cop or whatever, and he's sitting there, and then just freeze frames on him and goes back to playing like wacky music and like sitcom endings where you see everyone (laughs) and their names pop up. It does, yeah. And I was like, (laughs) I was like. It, it goes from bloody murder to yeah. fucking I love, little pop-up show, and I'm like, what the fuck? I love when movies do that. Um, there's, I won't spoil it, because I want to pick it one, one day, but an American Werewolf in London sort of has an ending along those lines. That hardcore Henry movie, even though I'm not a big fan of it, if you've ever watched it, sort of sort of has an ending like that, and, it, at, and then it ends, and it just cuts to like this super like rock music or whatever, but... I love when movies just have abrupt, like, wha- weird music and, like, weird endings. But, anyway. So, I think that's the end for The Last House on the Left. No, no, it okay. just started. Yeah, it just started. <laughs> We're going round two, boys. Uh, Tyler, your pick next week. What are you? Uh, what are you? Wild Zero, I think, is the name of it. What the fuck is Wild that? Zero? I sent you a link. I I know, yeah, but Wild Zero. I can I remember? It is a crazy zombie punk rock Tokyo insane movie. And uh yeah. Okay. It was suggested to me by someone. Oh, so. yeah. Uh hold on. I'll uh, link the trailer. I kind of want to get Maverick's reaction to it before uh before uh, we, we get off there. Well, yes, Discord, I would like to... You might want to turn your volume down. But, uh, I mean, both y'all could watch it, I guess. I don't think it's going to be scary, as in scary, but... Uh, I mean, I, I said that, you know, this is put in my top ten horror movies or whatever, but... Th- this isn't a scary movie. Like, maybe back in the day, I guess. But Jesus fucking Christ, this thing's loud. <laughs> so it's all about this like punk rock group in Japan, and then they're at like a punk rock show, and then zombie apocalypse breaks mm. out, and they're all like, it's all Japanese or whatever. So like, <laughs> it looks off the charts. Man. It does, right? It looks insane. And when I saw it, I went, I don't know, fucking wait to watch this. Yeah. Somebody have to watch this today. Hey, so well, that's you know my uh, Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> my face, so this is along the oh, lines. God. This is this is insane. This is going to be one of those movies where you're like, what the fuck's going on? He has a motorcycle that shoots flames out the exhaust. That's okay. dope. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good thing, but it's called Wild This Zero. is going to be good. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's... Problem is, <laughs> not, like a, yeah. not in a good it's, way, though. It's explosions, gunshots, and yeah. at one part you see censored nipple. Oh, yeah. That's great. Unfortunately, no one's heard of it, so no one's gonna watch the podcast. But that's a different. Nah, people are gonna. Watch <laughs> so <it>. yeah, <laughs> no one's heard of this fucking movie, Tom. Oh yeah, everyone's heard. No one's. Heard of it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna uh... be it. People are gonna watch this movie because of the podcast. No one's watched the movie, and they're not gonna watch the movie for this fucking shit ass podcast. Oh yeah, this is great. I swear to God, this movie's super famous. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's fucking not. Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, it's no, done by it's one not. of the the most influential horror yeah. men of fucking 
ever, you know, but... I'm sorry I didn't pick Dog fucking shit, some dude. bullshit IFC movie that came out a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but that, we anyway. had fun watching those. Yeah, I mean, you I didn't watch it. <laughs> I watched it. Oh, yeah? You yeah. weren't even there for your own podcast. Anyway. It's Guitar Wolf is the name of the punk Japanese band. Oh, okay. So. Shout out to Guitar Wolf. But uh, you gotta watch this trailer, Tom, and tell us what it's you good. think. It's good. I need, good. I need I a trailer reaction. Trailer. I need a trailer reaction. I never watched the, the trailer. Podcast. <laughs> this, the, this podcast needs a trailer reaction. So you just We're a reaction just channel up. now. A little bit. Mm. I mean, that's what a movie review is, isn't it? A reaction yeah. to a movie? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Thanks for listening. Last house on the left. Watch uh, Wild Zero. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's so next week. <laughs> Wild Zero. Uh, yeah. No overtimes this week. Coming out. We've done you it. sure? Yeah. Uh, I think. Who knows anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway. It's so next week. Wild Zero. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Uh, shout out to Listen Boys. We got three new subscribers in two days. We're on our, God <laughs> our damn, way to on the, the come up. Yeah. Fucking shout out people watching Return of the Living Dead. That shit's taken off. It's at 1,300 views. That's cool. So. Right from the bottom. Yeah. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so, next week, Wild Zero. See you then.